Hello Stampers! Jackie Ballheis from Clomp and Stampers. We're still on our week of poppies. You know that brand new mini catalog just came out last Friday and there's so many awesome products and I know it's kind of overwhelming. So for about four days or so here, we are just concentrating on the Gotta double check. Peaceful Poppies suite of products. There's so many coordinating products and they work great on their own. You can use this or you can use that or you can combine them together. But there's one little hidden gem in there that I don't often um, purchase. I'm all about usually the stamps and the dies and the ribbons and a few embellishments. But there's something called Peaceful Poppies Elements. I've got them, I'm holding them here, that I want to share with you today because I think this is a great buy to help you make some really cool cards without investing a lot of money in products that you might only use a couple of times. Um, it's only $6.50 for these and I'm going to show you how awesome they are and how I can combine them with some of the other products and just, you know, give a little bit different look to your cards. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flip the camera down. I'm going to show these to you and I'm going to show you some of the things you can do with them. And one of them is watercoloring. So I've got some quick and easy watercolor tips for you. So let's get started. So if you've been following me, you know we're talking about this brand new mini catalog that just came out. And the Peaceful Poppy Suite is actually on page 24 through 27. Love these coordinating products. They work great together, but don't forget, you can pick just the things you like and use them with a lot of other stuff. You don't need everything that's here, unless of course you love it all like I do, and then you want it all. Um, one easy ordering number makes it super easy to get all these coordinating products. Now this is what I'm using also for the online class this month. So if you participate in that and you have until the 10th to do so, you'll get the online class, which is 12 step-by-step -step tutorials using all of these coordinating products. But what I want to talk about today is Peaceful Poppies Elements. Now, like I said, this is something that we've had kind of these things before, and I never really paid a lot of attention to them, but I'm having a ball with this. So it's a set of, there's four different types of sheets here, we'll just call them, and you get two of each. So I've already been playing with one, but I kind of saved one whole so that you could see it. So first off, we have all of these images, and I have it on black so you can see it better, but they're embossed in white on vellum. So, and they all just punch out, okay? So we've got several images, these all coordinate. Um, then these are punched out, punch out pieces as well. This is thick cardstock, so it's not like cheesy little, um, pieces. So these pop up really nice on your sheets. We've got some black, again, with some shiny embossing on them. We've got circles. We've got some, kind of a lacy image in those. And then this is the piece that I really want to talk about today. And I don't know that you can even see what it is, but it's watercolor paper. These will punch out as well, but there's all these images that are white embossed. So they watercolor really nice and they're great little elements just to add to your card. So let's play with these for a second. And then I've got several cards that I'm going to show you how I use these different pieces. Now, like I said, we're going to do what I call Jackie's quick and easy watercoloring. Aqua Painter, my method of choice for watercoloring. Um, if you've never used one of these, it's basically a paintbrush on the end. You fill this up with water and then you got to give it a little squeeze to get it started. And then your water's here. So it's not like a paintbrush that you're constantly dipping. Okay. Super easy to use. And then to watercolor, I will, there's two different ways. I sometimes use my pads and what I do with these, I flip them upside down, press with the heel of my hand there to make sure that when I open it up, I have ink. Oh, and I didn't press hard enough. Let's try that again. You know, with these new pads, I found you really have to press hard um, to get that ink to, to hit the, um, the pad. Let's see if we got it. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. So again, upside down on a hard surface, press hard to get it. So you can do that or you can just go ahead and use your re-inkers. So we're either gonna, if we use the pad, we pick up our ink from there. Otherwise, what I've been tending to do more lately is I'll use my re-inker and I will just put a dab of it there. And this is just one of my clear blocks. Um, they wash off easily. It just makes kind of a, a nice uh, paint palette, we'll call it, um, without having you know an extra thing there in the stamp room. Grab a block that you have. Then we're going to take this aqua painter, give it a squeeze, make sure we've got water flowing. And I can come over here, add some water to 
my um, my red. I've got Poppy Parade there. You know, how can you not use Poppy Parade when you're um, making poppies? And then we can come over here and we can just color in those poppies. Now you can see I'm going over the line because I want it all the way to the end. You know, if you feel like your brush is too wet, just dry it off or you can dry it off on a towel. Um, if you got too much water, you can pick some up. But then I like to come back in here with a little bit of more concentrated ink and we're just dabbing it in the middle and you can see how you get different shades of ink. And that really is how easy these things are to watercolor. So we can come over here, let's do one of these. And we'll just, you know, we're just smearing it along the top there. We'll get the little end here. And then when you wanna switch colors, just give it a squeeze and run it on some scrap paper. Usually have a piece of paper towel or something. Um, get all of that red off of there. And then we can come over here and we'll do the same with our green. Mix it up a little bit there. And then we can bring some of the green down in the rest of this. But you can see how that image just pops. Um, get some darker in there. If it's too dark, you know, just pick it up. But it's nice leaving it, you know, don't punch it out because you've got all this space here to play with it. And that's that's all you do to paint these images. And then they'll pop out and you can, still a little wet so we should let it dry. Look at how nice that is. Now I wanna show you a couple of cards where I use these along with some of the other pieces in this set of elements. So remember, you get two sheets of each. So that's a lot of poppies that you can color because you get two of those. But let's go ahead and clean this up and grab the cards. Now, as I made my cards, I did use the greetings from Peaceful Moments. These are great greetings. Even if you don't like the poppies and you're just looking for a really good all occasion greeting set, this one's awesome. And then I use some of the dyes, okay? And you'll see in a second here, I showed these to you the other day, but these are all the different dyes and the two different die sets. We're gonna use pieces out of this one along with these elements for our cards today. So let's go ahead and start with this because it's probably my favorite one. But here you can see, here's the, the poppy with the stem. Okay, so I colored it, punched it out. And then this banner piece is one off the sheet here. So I just punched that out. I embossed in white using Versamark and white embossing powder onto that. And you can see right here, and I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, there's one of those vellum pieces. Now I didn't color it, I just kind of like the elegance of the white, the white vellum on there. Just layered them, put a little bow there. Here's a piece of the designer series paper that goes with this poppy suite. And then you can see the basket weave um, folder. Now over on my website, I will have pictures of these cards along with a list of everything I use. And I'll give you the card recipe. I'll give you all the dimensions and everything. So if you'd like to create these, hop on over there. So that's the first one. Now remember, this is what's featured also in my online class. Now these cards are not part of the online class. So it's 12 other cards and a couple of them do use these elements. But here you can see, this is the, this was already colored for me. So I just had to punch it out. I love the, the gorgeous water coloring on that. Again, there's our happy birthday. And then here's two of the dies that are in one of those die sets. So you can see how you can just layer them. We've used that basket weave again, quick and easy birthday card. So I really like the looks of these little elements. Here's just a simple note card. Again, here's all the images that I colored, just like I showed you. I used some circle punches and just added onto a note card, um, quick and easy greeting there. Same with this one. Here I actually used a piece of Poppy Parade Designer Series paper that's from the color group. So it wasn't out of the new paper pack, but again, circle um, punches or circle dies, whatever you have, pop that up with dimensionals and super easy. So if you've never really looked at these sets of elements, it might be something you wanna look at this time because they're really inexpensive and you get so many parts and pieces and there's really endless ways to use them. Um, honestly, you don't even have to use them with these stamp sets or dies, whatever you wanna do with them. But once again, I'll have pictures and all the card recipes for these over on the website in case you'd like to make them along with all the ordering directions. And don't forget, if you order by December, or I'm still in December, January 10th and use the online host code, you can get my free online class this month. Um, 12 different tutorials using all the different products in the 
the sweet, um, but I really think you're gonna love all of the products. But today I really wanted to highlight those elements. So make sure you come back Friday. I'm gonna highlight some other things in the sweet. I think you're gonna like that one as well. So if you have any questions, as always, make sure to get a hold of me. I love helping others make quick and easy cards. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been doing this for 25 years now, and I love to share and help and teach. So I look forward to sharing more ideas with you in the future, and I can't wait to stamp with you again. Have a stamp happy day.